Ramila, as I was introduced earlier. So I'm really glad to be here in Chandagar in uh, Republic of India. Uh, well, it's my first visit to India and I'm really pleased to be here. I am having a very good time with this. And uh, it's a little reason to come to India. As you know, we can, well, as I am an official of the university, I cannot just easily come to some countries. So there should be some reasons. And uh, the most important reason was uh, to meet the parents, to meet the like, future applicants, to meet our like, current students. I, really had, I was happy to see them. You know, when in, when I'm in Samarkand in university, the same, you know, like I, we have like more than one and a half thousand of Indian students in our city right now, in our university itself. And uh, having like two, like three, like familiar faces in India is, is very, very pleasant for me. And uh, also, I think uh, they are like they have a good year in our university because I we really do a lot to comfort our international students. We uh, like personally our uh, professor Rizayev, me, uh, vice counselor and the huge team of the Dean's office that's continuously working with international students. So every day during the day night doesn't matter. We we are there, we have duty and we um, well I think we are doing a good job to take care of them. Our university is like, you know, uh, the first uh, university, independent university in Central Asia. It was founded in 1930. All the others were founded by the later on, the later on. But that was, uh, at that time, Samarkand was the capital of Uzbekistan. And that, that was the reason why they did not move to Tashi. So that's why we have a great heritage of being a capital for a long time, like, you know, from the Middle Ages till like 20th century. It was the capital of the area, like whatever country was there. And uh, also the very good heritage we got from the uh, Russian uh, military uh, medical academy, St. Petersburg uh, Medical Academy. Uh, and they were moved to uh, with Uzbekistan to Samarkand during the uh, World War II. So lots of good skilled professionals moved in the, uh, the time to Samarkand and they established their own school. They are uh, like, you know, training their like, uh, descendants, I don't know, trainees, like, how uh, do you call that? And still we uh, like have a very good potential of being competitive with the capital city and uh, currently our university is the only medical university in Uzbekistan. All other uh, medical schools have the status of institute or college, so it means like their capabilities a little bit less than ours. I'm not saying that they are bad schools or something like that, no. Just we are like the biggest university of the uh, uh, med uh, biggest medical university. So it means like we have all the medical programs, whatever exists, starting like uh, medical biology, healthcare management, and others, and ending up with uh, like MBBS, MD programs, BDS programs, and etc. We have, uh, currently we have like almost like 12,000 uh, to 30,000 um, students in our university and uh, we have also uh, like more than a thousand of professionals who teach them and most importantly I want to proudly say that like we have like almost like 45 uh, around 45 uh, Indian uh, teachers who are like working with us to train our future generation future doctors so it's a it's very good thing that uh, we have them and they are like you know that when kids go abroad, it's very important. They they have somebody to talk with, to ask advice for. You know, like it's very well. We help them a lot as well. But when they see the person, all the person from the same culture, they easily share their problems, and most likely they will find 
more reasonable solution for that problem. So it's really important. And also, we, most importantly, we expose students to the medical practice from the first year. So after the first year, they, are like, they go to the hospitals during the first year. They go to the uh, hospitals, they are uh, interviews of the hospital life, medical uh, professionals, and everybody, uh, all the other stuff. So <clears throat> after the third year, they are eligible to start working in our hospitals as a nurse. So it's very really important so they can you know, just get into the profession early. And uh, we have um, three uh, two hospitals. Uh, hospitals are very big, like one, one is like 500 bed, another one is 250. So, and we are about to open this another one. So it's like we have, we are growing, we are growing the university. And also we have a very good partner like Sunil. They take care of uh, students like not academic life, you know, like academically they, uh, they belong to us, but after the lesson forwards they have to go somewhere, you know. And uh, our agents, our partners helping us to uh, create a good condition for the hospital. Um, but they have a good in the kitchen that I, I sometimes I go and myself also enjoy the Indian food as well. So I like it, you know, because when I was in the United States I had lots of Indian friends. So we used to have an Indian, Indian night, Indian culture night, and also like the, uh, during those uh, events, they used to cook like Indian food and bring and share. So I really enjoy it. It's very really good that we have the kind of uh, kitchen or like cafe, cafeteria in our university. So Indian students can enjoy their own food as well. Well, this is uh, like um, the main information. I wanted to share with you, so we are, well, I see many parents and they're coming here to, to uh, know where kids will go, what will happen, what can, how, to, how uh, he will be or she will be treated in other very friendly country, in city. And Uzbekistan is the safest place in the world in terms of the tourism. People uh, win. Well, if you check the rankings, the ranking of the countries are published each year. If you see the summer, uh, Uzbekistan is the, one of the top three uh, of the safe place to visit. So it's completely safe. Uh, well, I'm, I'm telling you, the one and a half thousand students in Samarkand, they're living the lots of other events. For example, recently we had an international yoga festival in Samarkand. So our students were actively involved. You can check YouTube and other. Yesterday we opened the uh, representative office of someone that's on that's on the main university here in Chandigarh. So uh, actually you can every time you can go there and get more information about our university. And also we our uh, university's information is present online. You can browse. I promise that if you choose some external university, your children will be enhanced, they will receive quality medical education and become a Thank you for your Congratulations, Rahul. And up next, we have this Amisha Pandit. Amisha Pandit. So congratulations. And next, we have this Varinda Raj. 